Hey guys, I'm Sherkin Clash today in Clash Royale. What's going on guys? How are you all doing? Oh boy, I thought the saga was over, honestly, with level 15, at least for a day or two. Give me a break here. But we got more news for you today because for the first time, we see the offers inside the shop. And boy, does it leave us with a lot of questions. So let's go ahead and take a look, shall we? So uh, you can see we have the offers. Well, wait a second here. I'm going to buy I mean, I'm going to buy a free item. I mean, come on, dude. I'll take the wild shard. Thank you very much. Uh, but you guys can see we have all evolutions uh, launch special. We have uh, quite a few specials. Card evolution launch special in the shop. We have allies in battle. Okay, whatever. Banners and stuff like that. And then we have... Uh, I want to come back to this because we do have the gem cost. Actually, you know what? While we're here on the gem cost, I want you to note one thing. And it's this one right here in the bottom left. I can't point at it. But you guys can see how much for 2,500 gems. It is 20 US dollars for for 2,500 gems. Now let's go all the way back to the top here and take a look at our elite wild card store. We have an elite wild card store, ladies and gentlemen. So notice the number of wild cards that we're getting here in each offer. We're getting 5,000 for 1.5 no, I'm sorry, for 150,000, uh, but it would need, you need 1.5 million if you wanted to totally max out a card. So let me pause for a moment here. 1.5 million gold to max out one elite card. Uh, so they removed gold from the elite cards or elite levels, kinda, except for in the new uh, elite card wild shop store or whatever the heck, right? So now uh, there is a way we can buy gold uh, right over here. We can buy 5,000 elite wild cards for uh, the low price of only 150,000. Uh, so I couldn't even, I have 1 million gold saved up, right? And I couldn't even max out one card for my 1 million gold. Anyway, the next offer is 3,000 gems for one for 12,500. So wait a second here, because the next offer after that is 50,000. That's enough to max out one full card, right? 50,000 elite wild cards for only $10. But we just said for 12,500, it's 3,000 gems. And we just talked about it. For 3,000 gems, it would cost us, you know, $25, give or take, right? $25, well, if you bought both packs, but that would only get us, you know, a quarter of the way there to one card. So why is the, but, but the, on, the, on the side, you see the, the real offer, the $10, the $9.99 for 50,000 elite wild cards, which is exactly the cost to max out one card. Ergo, the cost would be around 80 US dollars to max out one deck, which is pretty affordable when you think about it compared to like level 14. Let's put it this way. If the game came out with level, back when they came out with level 14 cards, right? If you were going to spend to max out a full deck with level 13 to 14, it would cost you, I don't know the exact amount, but I, I'm, I'm venturing a guess it would cost you maybe maybe more expensive than this offer to max out your deck. So all of a sudden, it leaves us scratching our heads a little bit here. Wait a second. I thought that Elite Wild Cards, the whole reason that they took forever to save up and blah, 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 and it's passive and all this stuff and no gold and all that stuff is because, well, strategically, the data says they don't want players to max out. They want it to be a passive experience in the game. More on that in just a moment. And uh, this ought to keep all, all these casual players who are quitting the game because they're maxed engaged by making it a passive long-term experience, not charging a, a, a relatively small amount, aka $80, to max out a whole deck. You spend $80, you max out a whole deck, and then what happens? I mean, by their data, they would leave the game because they're they're no longer interested because after somebody maxed out a deck, they're no longer interested. More on that in just a moment. Actually, you know what? Before we get to that stuff, I want to talk a little bit about this because you guys should be aware of this, and it's not Clash Royale, right? It's really every microtransaction game or app or anything. It could be at a, a car dealership, you know? It's a it's a really, really popular marketing strategy, and you guys should know what it is because it's going to help you out in life, you know, not to be too uh, soapboxy about it, but take a look. So this is not new. It's called price anchoring, okay? It's called price anchoring. 
What is price anchoring? Well, price anchoring is a pricing strategy that involves setting an initial price point known as an anchor to influence the perception of subsequent prices. The anchor serves as a reference point to, or comparison for evaluating the value of other prices. The anchor can also be a competitor's price or a higher price version of a product. This approach is a powerful psychological pricing strategy businesses use to influence consumer behavior and shape per purchasing decisions. It's backed by scientific research. You guys can read more on this if you'd like to, but essentially that's why they put to two total BS offers in there next to the $10 offer, right? Because obviously it would cost you so much more. We're talking like 10x more to just go ahead and buy the first two offers. But I'm sure there's some people out there who unfortunately bit mistakenly or not at the first two offers, which would be really, really bad. But anyway, guys, I wanted to get, so just be aware of price anchoring in, in mobile games uh, and in life in general, right? Uh, so establishing that high cost and then it making it seem like the other cost is a huge value, which in this case it is. Just don't, just be aware of it, right? Okay, so uh, this blog post from 10 days ago, Let's read back to what Supercell said 10 days ago in Clash Royale, right? Uh, let's see. Upgrading to elite levels will not uh, have the same path as, as 1 to 14, which requires gold plus cards. To get an elite level, you only need elite wild cards. Okay, okay. Uh, that sounds like a lot. 50,000 wild cards. No gold! Except for if you want to buy the gold offer that's really crappy. Uh, then it's 1.5 million per card. Uh, that sounds like a lot. It is a lot. Elite levels is not something we expect everybody to unlock right away. It's also the reason we have locked no extra content behind the level. Cough, cough, card evolution. And getting elite levels designed to be a more passive experience for players and something that will take time rather than resources. Can I highlight it? There we go. Rather than resources to earn. Oh... The more cards you level have at level 14, the more elite wild cards you'll earn. So 50,000 won't seem like a daunting unless you just want to pay a low price of $10 per max card. Then you max out your deck right away. Uh, uh, let's see. Don't want to wait? Well, elite levels have been designed as more of a passive progression, similar to masteries. You don't pay for your masteries. You don't pay for your, uh, your, your wild cards, right? Uh, if you want to use magic items to level up your cards, you can. However, they're much better used to get your cards to level 14. And they don't make any mention of the easiest way is to pay $10. It's that easy. And you get your max card. You don't have to wait 10 years. Uh, why is this? Because it, it really plays into the, the, the cash grab component of the, the update, right? Because let's go back to this blog post by, uh, by Max just a couple days ago, right? What the, for, but the data says many of the players, many of the, the, the casual players who are max is who he's talking about, right? Many of these players stop playing the game as often or even entirely when they max out a deck, regardless of what else we add to the game in the meantime. So leveling their main deck is the only goal they chase, and most of them seem to have no interest in investing time in leveling or learning to play other cards. So these are the players who we are trying to provide content for, for the elite level. We are hoping to see this as, uh, uh, this is a way that these players will stay interested for a lot longer than they did when we added level 14, giving us space to focus on adding and improving to other areas of the game. But now, and they have this, this handy graph that shows that, you know, these players that are, this is the uh, champions update, right? And this is, this threshold here in March of 2022 is where they say that these players start to max their decks. And once these players start to max their deck to level 14, they start to quit the game. Uh, but now, isn't that, I guess my question to you guys would be, hasn't that been thrown largely out the window? Or at least somewhat out the window? Has that? And the reason I ask is because now, instead of it going from taking $500,000 to max out a deck, or whatever, $250,000 to max out a deck to level uh, from 14 to 15, well, now it's, it's, it's $80. All of a sudden... In a way, that's it, like it's weird. It's good and it's bad. Glass half full is wow. It's not that expensive after all. They they gave us an offer that's in it, it's just insanely good value as opposed to how long it would take otherwise. But the glass half empty is wait. That's not a a, a long passive arduous uh, kind of in the background experience, right? That's like giving these max players who they don't want to have one max deck 
uh, it's giving them a max stack for 80 US dollars. And then won't they just quit the game? And if they do, if they really believe that the data shows that these players who spend to max out one deck at a fairly affordable rate compared to what it would be if you didn't have those offers in the shop, wouldn't the so could it be seen as just a last ditch way to get those players that would quit anyway? To get those players to come back for card evolution, get eighty dollars out of them or more to max out a deck or two, and then they leave again and thus comes in level sixteen or the new elite level, you know? Uh, I don't know, guys. I guess that's all I have to say about that. But to me, it's not a surprise that there's special offers in the shop. Like, we all knew they were coming, right? But to me, it is... Uh, I was kind of interested at the way the offers looked, at what they, the, what they looked like. It was clearly like a, here's a massive, like, 1,000% discount. Max your deck as quick as possible. Uh, and that's that's that, right? And here's two crappy offers right next to it to really show you guys that this now is your time. Spend $80 right now, you know, uh, or whatever, whatever the amount is. Anyway, guys, I hope I'm not being too cynical while these videos. Again, I'm just trying to look at what's happening, make my best call as to what I think might be going on and kind of going from there. I still personally really enjoy Card Evolution. I think it's an awesome update, you know, the, the, the actual, the new stuff in the game, right? Really fun. I'm enjoying the special challenges. I'm still enjoying the game. I'm still doing what you saw. I mean, I showed you all my offers. I'm still not spending money. I haven't spent money in the game in like a year. I mean, it's been a long time. Um, maybe like $5 for like an emote or something like that. I don't know. But I haven't spent a pass or anything. And no card evolutions, nothing. And the thing is, I'm enjoying the game like that. So I would encourage you guys to do the same. If you're stressing about this, if it's making you super angry, I mean, consider stopping to play the game because who wants to play a game that makes them really angry, right? Uh, or just do what I do and just kind of enjoy the game for what it is. Enjoy the parts that you like and and don't enjoy the parts that you don't like, right? And don't feel compelled to spend money to keep up with the guy next door or whatever because ultimately, you know, it's about enjoying the game for what it is. So guys, uh, I don't know. Hopefully that came across the right way. Let me know how you feel about all this stuff. Is there anything that I am missing here? I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below. Much love and as always, take care guys.